Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corey Schumann, and I wanted to take time to make this video to demonstrate a project that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. So the goal of this project was really to create a stereoscopic three-axis gimbal that would interface with an Oculus Rift. So the goal basically was you would get a synchronized motion between the head tracking of the Oculus Rift and the three-axis of the gimbal, and you'd get that 3D view from the stereoscopic cameras in real time. Now, to build the hardware, I used a lot of the Actobotics line of hardware. Um, so you can see most of the frame is using the aluminum channels. Um, there are a couple of different links there. Um, and then the top, which is housing the cameras themselves, I'm using the direct drive cradle kit. So um, you've got the cameras mounted here, Raspberry Pi is back here. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the servos that are actually driving this unit. Um, so to control our yaw range of motion, so we're down here, a 2 to 1 ratio of 32 pitch gears using a uh, servo mount and the high-tech HS5665MH servo. And then to control our roll up here, actually using a 2 to 1 um, pulley and belt system. Uh, the servo here is a high-tech HS645MG. And then finally, to control pitch of the cameras using a direct drive um, back here, which is the high-tech HS5645MG, which is uh, built for 180 degrees of motion. Now, there's a lot of other actobotic parts uh, used in this. Um, we won't go into detail here, but uh, needless to say, there's a lot of bearings, hubs, shafts, and spacers used here. Um, so there'll be a full description of all the parts uh, listed below if you want to check those out, including links. Now, the servos themselves are driven by a microchip PIC32 microcontroller. So basically what I'm doing there is sending the raw positional data from the Oculus Rift to the microchip using uh, just UDP packets and then parsing them from there to control the servos. Uh, and then the cameras are using two of the Pi Noirs connected to two Raspberry Pis back here. Um, each is going into uh, our network. And the video is being captured on my PC using a combination of the FFmpeg library as well as the OpenCV library. Um, so now let's get to the fun part. Let's do a little demo. So you can see here, I've got my Oculus Rift. Um, so let's start out and try to turn on the right. And as you can see, uh, we're basically getting a one-to-one -one ratio of motion between the Oculus Rift and the hardware and that was really the goal is to synchronize as much as possible so that when you're watching through the camera uh, it, it seems very fluid dynamic um, and human it doesn't seem odd at all now if we look up and down you see we've got our cameras pitching we also get control of the roll so you can see we can combine all of our different axis of motion and we're synchronized and we actually got a pretty good response on these servos. It's a good amount of torque right there. So, now let me show you what we have on the video side of things. Let's pan over here. Let's see the unit, and there's our screen. So, the top window has all the data streaming. That's basically just the uh, debug of the raw rotational values being sent from the Oculus Rift to the unit. Um, and then the bottom two screens is our, is our left and right cameras. Now, the software is very uh, immature, so there isn't a perfect synchronization right now, but it definitely is good enough to get the point across. So you can see if we move around, you see the, the camera's panning as well. So I can look down to the left, and there's my speaker, my clock. Look over here to the right, down a little farther, there's my headphones. So for where we're at, pretty early in the project, but come a long way and I'm very happy with where we're at. Um, I'm excited to see where I can take this. Uh, really the next steps for me would be um, combining those two video feeds into a single feed and applying the barrel distortion so they can be viewed through the Oculus Rift and then beyond that well that's my secret for now but trust me I have a lot of plans for what I want to do. So if you're interested in this project please stay tuned. Uh, there will be a lot more coverage in the coming weeks and I do plan to release this code on GitHub. Um, and if you're interested in the hardware that's used, definitely make sure to check out servocity.com and their line of Actobotic hardware. Thank you for watching.